Well, yes, we're here for the opening of Guardians of the Galaxy and, of course, for Summer of Heroes. But I'm here with Chef, Ch uh, Chef Kane, so we're going to talk about Summer of Foods. That's right. That's right. It's all about... It's all about the food. That's right. Now, now before we start, I see we've got, we're set up to make something here. Can we talk just a little bit about some of the things I see over here? Well, yes, of course we've got our popcorn bucket. Popcorn bucket. And that and holds a little bit of popcorn. That's going to fill you up right there. Do. I see some really giant donuts over here. Those donuts are amazing. They're uh, available right here at Schmoozies. At Schmoozies. And, uh, and I see we got your angry little pudding cup down here. Yes, and those are funnel cake fries. Funnel cake fries, very good. But now I'm, I'm just wondering, doesn't this need to, to just come home with, with you? <laughs> Not with me, but with Those you. Those sipper cups just are pretty cool. A little sipper cup with little baby Groot there. I guess giant uh, uh, Groot will be greeting guests, but you can take home baby Groot. And then over here, here's Groot again. The Groot the bread, yes. Yes. So sourdough bread, it's got cheddar cheese all over. I heard it's 30% cheddar cheese. 30% cheddar cheese. You know, you can't have too much cheese in your sourdough. Where would that be available? Uh, that's available all here through uh, California Adventure. All through California Adventure. And then uh, what's that down there? Some The uh, the pudding. Pudding. It's parfait and, pudding. And, and, and what is this menu? So that's item? what we're going to be making. That's our falafel. Our, our fa falafel. We're making falafel tonight. Say, so. it, say it, don't spray it, right? That's right. That's <laughs> right. So you're going to be helping me, actually. Oh, boy. So we've got the blender here. OK. We put a few ingredients in here. We put a few ingredients in the blender. All right. So we've, we've got a little so. bit of onion. OK. So maybe about a, a quarter of an onion. About a quarter right. of an onion, and I see that's diced, it nicely is. diced. And you know, if you're using a large food processor, you don't have to dice it quite as much. Okay. Got about this is about a teaspoon of garlic. Teaspoon of garlic. I'll use two teaspoons of garlic because I is like garlic. Vampire. Yes. Mm. Keep, keep them away. Got about a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. And maybe a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. We don't want to overdo it. Right. This is cumin. Cumin. So about a half a teaspoon of cumin. Cumin, good for humans. That's true. And, and cayenne pepper. A little cayenne pepper. You like pepper. it spicy? I thought that's what it was. So that's that'll definitely right. add the heat. Mm -hmm. If you can't handle the heat, uh, add paprika. <laughs> there you, I thought you were going to say stay out of the kitchen. Uh, most he people never think, say stay no, out never. of the kitchen. No. So here we have some parsley. Parsley. And cilantro. I knew cilantro you knew had that was coming? to come in there. It had to be coming. OK, so we've got that. Exactly. And then we have some garbanzo beans. Garbanzo. Now, I would call those chickpeas. Would some I be wrong? No, they were the same no, thing. Same thing. Garbanzos are chickpeas. There this you is true. go. High in protein. Very uh -huh. good, very high good protein. for you. And so, high in protein. And high in other things, too. So we have about, okay. a, we have about uh -huh. a cup's worth. About a cup's worth. And we can add a little bit of just tap water. A little tap water there. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, if you have to have filtered water. That's right. And we're going to blend this up. We're going to blend it, it up. On over. Okay, so just put it here and hit the button and go. Well, okay. that, that, that's how it should work, right? That's how it Let's should work. Let's make sure okay. it's on. Okay. And we're going to pulse it probably five or six times. Pulse it five or six times. <laughs> Let me add a little more water. A little more water there. Oh, oh, it's now. See, I, I would lift the little lid off the top, but he doesn't and just fool around. <laughs> there you go. That looks perfect. Wonderful. I'm working. Really, I am. Okay, there, there we go. go. Awesome. Okay. Okay, and now? No, it we're going to take that. It's all blended up. All blended up. So we're going to put that. Mmm, that smells so good. You did put that it extra really garlic in there, didn't you? Oh, yeah, a little maybe, extra. Maybe I little put extra. too much. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no you such thing as too much, much garlic. It's no, good to know. It's not doing as, as he says, keeps the vampires away. And, okay, so there we go. There we go. So that all goes in I'll there. I'll throw that back on the okay. other side. Okay, all right, there we go. So and you see it's kind of loose. Kind of loose there. So mm -hmm. as a binder and kind of thicken things up, we're going to add a little all-purpose flour. A little all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. And then right here is baking powder. So baking, baking powder, powder. kind of mm -hmm. help leaven the Shake croquette. Shake a little bit in there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's a, it's about a half teaspoon. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon. One yeah, teaspoon. And, and, and that recipe's running across the bottom of the screen here, isn't it? No, it's not. So <laughs> never mind. Anyway, go ahead. We're not, go that, ahead. Go not ahead. that good, right? No, no. You know, a lot of allergies, people have gluten allergies nowadays. Oh, yes. You can definitely get gluten-free flour at gluten the Gluten-free, all-purpose flour if you don't want to have any fun with your cooking. Okay. Right. And Now, the, the fun part, if you do have kids or anything, mm -hmm. get in there and just mix you that just, thing you up. Just, you just, you just, this is how I make meatloaf. Exactly. It's the only way. Okay. So once that's mixed up, you get the proper. Uh, you do have the proper recipe. Mm -hmm. If we did it right, it would turn out exactly like this. Exactly like, and through the magic of television, boom! <laughs> and there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So since your fingers are already dirty, mm -hmm. I'm going to keep mine clean. I'm okay, going to use the ice cream it. scooper. Oh, okay. Oh, an ice cream scooper. An ice cream scoop. And it makes uh, the perfect use, size. It does. Or you can just grab some and make a, the mm -hmm. meatball yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you'd like, 
There you go. Okay. Well, now my hands are really dirty. Okay. Well, they're, they're so already dirty, go. right? So then they go right in here? Right in the fryer? Okay. You know what? You want to do I'm three? I'm just old-fashioned sure. enough that I make them by hand. That's Well, now that one's a little too small. So there we go. See there? That looks much better. That's a good one. There you go. Okay. So we do have we do have our fryer set to 350 degrees. Deep fat. One of the four basic food groups in our house. <laughs> you, yes. have a, you have a fryer at home? Uh, you should. We should. You should. We definitely should. I like the smaller one because that's a lot of oil yes. that kind of... Yeah. Uh, but definitely we're using canola mm -hmm. oil. A okay. lot of people have, again with the allergies, soybean allergies. Canola oil allergies. is much better for canola. you. Canola. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to let that go for about three to five minutes. Three to five minutes. And then, of course, when we're done, when we, we are done, we have a product already set. Of course, we do. So we have our pita ready to go. So I can't touch that because my hands are just no. I'll I'll do that work. That's why I use the scooper. There you go. I tried to warn yeah, you. See there, <laughs> lets me do the dirty work. Exactly. Yeah. So we have some fresh spinach. It's fresh spinach. Just chopping up. It's called a chiffonade. Pop, really. pop, I would approve. That's right. Yes. Not out of a can though. He right. That's a chiffonade. Chiffonade. It's chiffonade. It means yes. ribbons. Ribbons. French. It's a very I fancy, think I'm fancy term. Fancy I term for, I would call it shredded. Shredded works. Shredded, yeah. But a chef and not. Ooh, what is that? So this is our cucumber slaw. Oh, man. So, so we sliced it up really thin, mm -hmm. salted it slightly, so it pull out a lot of the moisture out of the cucumbers Right, itself. right. And then we rinse that off after. Right, after about right. an hour, you rinse it off. It won't add the moisture right, back Right, right, right. And, uh, and then we're going to add some vinegar. I was going to say, I smell the vinegar. A little mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little and sugar. And a little bit of mint. A little Actually, bit a lot of mint. Oh, boy. Makes it very fresh. Yes, smell that? It's very, very and that's good. good for a nice summer day. Oh yeah. Oh and yeah. And then we have these croquettes a that we cook during a winter night. Anytime that stuff smells wonderful. No, that's true. Oh, look at this. So Put nice those little right croquettes, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have our tzatziki sauce. A little tzatziki. So it's a Greek uh -huh. yogurt. Very good. And very in this good. one we have a little cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, mm -hmm. kind of those baking spices. Okay. Really makes the the, the mm -hmm. mint pop. Yes, and indeed. that's going to be our finished product. And there it is, right there. <clears throat> and I understand. This is one of the menu items that's available right here Correct. at the resort. So you don't have to come down here and cook it yourself. You can just come here and get it that's from right. one of the wonderful locations here where they're going to have these available. That's right. Food truck right at the end of the street. Food truck right at the end of the street. Well, thank you. I, I Well, I can shake your hand. Oh, it's You've all right. A rubber glove. Thank you very much, <laughs> thank you. My pleasure. Chef Kane. And thank you. And come on down here. Like I say, you won't have to cook it, but you can eat it here at the Summer of Foods.